Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about various attributes that gives the information about the series in Pandas. So in the previous session, we have seen how to create the series, how many ways we can create a series in Pandas. Now we'll see the different attributes that gives the information about the series in Pandas. So attributes, attributes. First attribute is the index, index and the syntax is series dot index. So this will give the index values. It will return all the index values. Okay, all the index values. So that index values can be either zero from starting from the zero that means the numericals or which you have given. So while creating a series, we can change the index values, right? So those index values will be returned by using this attributes. We can know about those index values, which type of index given for the series. And second one, array, attribute array. So this, the syntax is series dot array, which will return, return an array of values. So whatever the elements we are giving in the series, that will be given in the arrays, array of values, right? And the third index, I mean, third attribute is a values, values. So we know that the series will be having a value. So we have to give the values in terms of a, a array or a list, right? So that values will be returned. The syntax is series dot values. It return values of series. So don't, uh, no need to worry. I will execute each and every attribute and I will explain you, right? So the next one is name, name. So while creating the series, we can also give a name for the series. So if you give the name, so this is an optional. Okay, this is an optional. So we may give or we may not give. But if you specify any name for the series, that name will be returned here. If you are not specifying any name for the series, nothing will be printed here. Okay, so the syntax is same, common. That is a series dot name. It returns name of a series. Name for the series, which we have given. And the next one is a shape. So it will give the shape of that particular series. Whether it, it is a n dimension or uh, what is the shape okay how many elements will be there and all these things will be given so here the syntax is series dot shape so it returns the shape of the series it returns the shape okay it returns the shape i will i will show you by executing these attributes right so then you will be understanding about all these things and there is an endim attribute called endim which will give the dimension of that particular series dimension whether it is a one dimension or it is a multi dimension okay the syntax is common that is series dot endim it returns the dimension dimension of series the given series and the size size so this size attribute will return the number of elements in the series number of values in that particular series okay so the syntax is a series dot size it returns the size of a series that means the number of elements available in that series size of series And the next one is n bytes, n bytes. So the syntax is series dot n bytes, which will return the memory occupied by the values. Okay, the memory occupied by the values. So this you just uh, remember returns the memory 
occupied by values memory occupied by values okay and then the next one is a memory underscore usage function memory underscore usage function so this is a function right and the syntax is series dot memory underscore usage so this returns this returns memory occupied by both index and values both index and values okay both index and values so we know that if you create any series automatically the index values will be joined so all the elements will be indexed with some index values so by default those index values will be from 0 to so I mean starting with the 0 and if you uh, if you want to change the index we can specify by using the index parameter so here the memory usage function is used to return the memory occupied by both the index and values both the index and values but here n bytes but here n bytes it will return the memory is occupied by only values it will exclude the indexes okay it will exclude the index it will check only for the value right next mt so this is a boolean attribute so series dot mt series dot mt and it returns true if series is empty that means if series doesn't have any values and it returns false if series is not empty that means if the series consists of any values then automatically it will return false so this is a boolean type okay this is a boolean type right so these are the few attributes these are the few attributes which gives the information about the series like the index arrays uh, values name shape dimension size memory occupied by the values and memory occupied by the index and values and empty empty right so let us move on to the interpreter and we'll see these attributes one by one okay first we have to create a series and we can find the different attributes by based upon the different attributes we can find the information about that particular series and this we'll see on the interpreter so let's move on to the interpreter hello friends so just now we have seen various attributes available in pandas so series in pandas so we'll see one by one the attributes so how it will be working so for that we will just import the pandas import pandas i will give some alias name so that we can call all these things with the alias name so first of all let us create one series some s is equal to pd dot series s capital s series and we can create a series in different ways so that we have already discussed in the previous session so you can uh, go through that session and uh, you can create a series so i will create with a uh, normal list okay some 50 and i will give you some name we can also give the name for the series okay let it let it be eight numbers and also we can change the index values so if you are not giving any index attribute here so by default it will be taking as a zeros see so print if you print yes we can get the index values from 0 to 4 so if you just want to change the index values we have to give the index attribute so there is a one uh, attribute called s dot index so it will give what actually the index refer to the values so here you can observe s dot index s dot index will give the values from 0 to 5 and if you change this one if you change this one so index is equal to and if you go with the a b c d e right so there are five indexes okay so i'm taking like this and now i will just if i execute this s dot index now we'll get the result as a b c d e so it will return the index values for the given values okay index of given values right next one is a array so s dot array will be representing 
the elements in terms of arrays so you can observe so this is an array pandas array okay pandas array so 10 20 30 50 and the, the length of the array is 5 and d type is in 64 in 64 and values if you want to get only values without any index value it lets go with the s dot values so it will return only the values but not the indexes it will return only the values but not the indexes and similarly if you want to know the data type for this one so go with the s dot d type it will give the data type of the given values see let us check once again we'll change uh, another uh, into another data type so 10.5 point 20.5 30.5 some 40.5 and 50.5 and here the name i am also changing the name as uh, some float okay some float now let us check s dot s dot d type s dot d type will give a float okay so previously s is having some integer and now the s is having some float values float values and we can also find the shape so what is the shape of this uh, uh, series sorry s dot shape so we'll get only one dimension so there is one more attribute called endim endim gives the dimension so uh, dimension of this series is only one dimension so that's why we are getting some only five so that implies one dimension and each, uh, that dimension is having only five elements one dimension with the five elements right so we have already seen this shape of uh, shape values in numpy right and endim after endim we can also find the number of bytes number of bytes okay so s dot n byte sorry 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 s dot n bytes okay n bytes so it will give how many bytes occupies by the value how many bytes occupies by the values and there is a one more thing called a memory see i will show i will show you the difference memory underscore usage so what is the memory usage of that particular series okay of that particular series so s dot memory usage is 156 so here the uh, uh, s is having only five elements so here also s is having only five elements but what is the difference means so s dot memory usage will include the index values also it will include the index values also So you can observe index if if there is an attribute if there is an attribute called index if you give a false to that index it will give the only the memory occupied by the values itself so that's what 40 okay n bytes will return the memory occupied by the only the values memory usage function will return the memory occupied by both the values and index and if you uh, give the false value for the index attribute in the memory usage will get the memory occupied by only the values so this is a 40 okay and also we can find the size so s dot size the size of particular series size of particular series so we know that uh, yes is having some five elements so size of that particular series is five and also we can get the name name of the series so s dot name is equal to float so we have given already right previously we have given some name is equal to float right name is equal to float so that's why if you go with the s dot name we'll get it is a float we'll get as a float right and then empty so yes dot empty it will check whether the series is empty and if it is empty we will get a true and if it is not empty we'll get a false so we'll get a false because yes is already having some five elements yes is having already five elements now let us check so s1 is equal to pd dot series of just give that one so s1 if you print s1 sorry s s1 will get an empty series will get an empty series so s1 dot size is equal to 0 because there are no elements we have just created a series but we are not having any elements in that series so in this case if you check with s1 dot empty we'll get the result as true because s1 is empty because s1 is empty right so like this we can apply uh, we can check all the information of that particular series by using these attributes right so hope you understood these uh, attributes so if you are having any doubts regarding these attributes so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts
And if you really understood my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching. Thank you very much.